Yo, 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 yo. You got Mouth TV, subscribe to your guy. Um, I just want to do a quick response to um the Sleepy Brown and uh 85 South interview. Um, I guess Sleepy Brown said I got five on it was an outcast diss. Let me let me play this. That's it. That's it. Who really a one hit wonder? <laughs> You got one chance to make this crowd go stupid. You get two. You got to perform your one hit. And you can't, and you can't be facing the crowd either. You got to turn around, and you got to be a big ass surprise. As soon as your music. Oh, you got, you got to perform the hell out of this one hit. You ain't got one song to do. This is one time you got to show your ass. We got to find some artists who ain't had a show in a long time. You get one shot, one kill. Everybody on unsafe. We got ten thousand on the line. Ten jeans. That's all you. It's coming. My bad. It's coming. It's coming. It's around here somewhere. Second round, acapella. Third round, acapella. Third round, acapella. You got to sing it. You got to go crazy. Damn, <laughs> who would want you want? I don't want to say nobody, but say it. Say it. it. Whoever it. fall in that category. It's going to scream tomorrow. I'm telling you. You get one song. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we ain't here. Yeah, we ain't here for the club over that one. Yeah, yeah, I ain't even going to lie. Yeah, yeah. He for that shit. Well, you ain't never necessarily even got to be one hit, one though. What they can do it? Uh, <laughs> but you get one stuff. You get one song. You get the Oh, yeah. Them all skate ring songs, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he'll have to go up against Return of the Mac. Oh, yeah. My bag. I should have killed it up. My bag. They about to say what they say. Somebody going to throw us on that. That one hit wonder. My bag, y'all. I should have had this shit queued up. My bag. Bear with me, my nigga. There you go. You ain't got to be no one. There you go. You just get one song. People we ain't seen yet. My bag, y'all. All right. How about Doss Effects? God damn. They want to fix. They coming. Put that up against Doss Effects. They want to fix. I would put, uh, what is it, 93 into Infinity? What they song? That was uh, oh, uh that that was, uh, yeah, it was the one like a West Coast kind of uh but I'll put that up there. Yeah. Call the seven digits. I call it Bridget. I got five on with one. Oh Lunis. Hey man, did you know I didn't know till years later that I got five when it was a disc record to us. What? It was a disc record. I can't. What? I bullshit. I bullshit you not. I bullshit you not. I bullshit you. Because it was, it was a rumor that they thought that we had stole their style or whatever it was. So, I'm telling you, because I met the nigga that was down with the crew. And they said, man, yeah, you know that record was really dissing y'all. We really, I'm like, really? I'm singing this shit. Nigga, I love this record. Damn. Why couldn't y'all say our name? If you really want me, just say the name with it. Call it what it is. You know what I'm saying? You ain't say nothing, so we come with your children. Time. Time. Well, hey, that's what I found out. What's the diss? Yeah. Say it again. What's the diss? This is that they're basically saying that they trying to sound like, okay, if you listen to that record, the way they say it, the way they're rapping in verses, it sounds like being, it sounds like playing ball. It sounds like that first. That sound, you know what I'm saying? It truly does. You know, it, it, it. Don't have to sad. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even know the words. You can't even say that shit no more. Uh -huh. See, that didn't even age well. That's good. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, that's where the bullshit stops. We ain't doing that. The latest sports scores. We ain't doing that. If you need to build an online- we ain't doing that. Niggas uh, sneak this in the song and shit. We ain't doing all that. But uh, Mr. Sleepy Brown, you're absolutely wrong. We never made I Got Five on it to this outcast. My brother, we made I Got Five on it in 1993. We held on to it for two years. To, uh, really a year because we started we got signed to 94 a year later they knew version they knew that was our single finish up the album so we finishing up the album in 94 we put it out in 95 um outcast the first time we heard of them is at the end of 94 top of 95 that's when they dropped five on it was already recorded the clean version everything we never heard about outcast we never heard about them when we did i got five on them my brother so, and then like Kurt, uh, Carlos Miller said, what's the diss? Where's the diss in that song that we talk about outcast? i wait. Like, come on, man. We have nothing but the utmost admiration for outcast and the goody mob, the whole dungeon family. When that shit came out, like period, us being youngsters, let me just break the whole shit down. Us being youngsters, we was in our late teens when we got signed. We got signed at 18. We dropped our album when we was 20. Me and them same age. So in junior high school and high school, we was admiring the young artists, you know what I mean? Because it gave us motivation that we could hopefully get a deal in junior high school or high school. And you know what I mean? At first we had rated PG young artists. We had another bad creation. We had crisscross, you know, shit like that. You know what I mean? Real PG 13, you know what I mean? Clean rap. Then, you know, we start getting the heat, you know what I mean? Start getting motherfuckers that's killing their ass. We got leaders of the new school, Busta Rhymes and them, and uh, 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 Dingo D and, and um, Charlie Brown. They was in high school. They did their video, just another uh, uh, just another case of, of PTA. They rapping in junior high school. That was our motivation. I mean, in high school, like, yo, these niggas is coming out of high school and they down with Tribe, you know what I mean? So Busta Rhymes, uh, uh, leaders of the new school um then red man came and dies effects and them came so that was our motivation far as you know what i mean lyrical wise you know what i mean how we came up with you know what i mean like the funny style of gangsta hip-hop you know what i mean we was doing gangsta hip-hop but it had a red man type of you know what i mean um uh dev and a dude type of approach because we'll switch our voice up make crazy you know what i mean voices and shit or whatever skits and shit or whatever and we have funny punchlines, you know what I mean? So that was our approach before we ever, ever heard of Outkast. So when we did finally hear uh, the Outkast album, we was glued to the shit, you know what I mean? It came out right after All Eyes On Me, you know what I mean? So All Eyes On Me, not All Eyes On Me, Me Against The World. So Me Against The World dropped in 94, Pac shit. So Pac had a group that will eventually become the Outlaws named Drama Sido on it. So we hear drama side like, oh shit, you know what I mean? It's lit for youngsters, you know what I mean? We motivated, like, okay, we got our deal, nigga. We gonna come out like them, nigga, woo, woo, woo. It was motivation. When we heard Onyx, motivation, uh, 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 fucking hieroglyphics was our main motivation. It, this niggas is from Oakland, they in high school, Delta Funk, your homo sapien, fucking Ice Cube cousin, like, that was our motivation. Like, young niggas is out here making moves period before we ever heard of an outcast our motivation was a hieroglyphic souls of mischief um onyx you know what i mean the young niggas kicking up dust before we ever heard of outcast then when we finally heard outcast after we made five on it two years prior we loved outcast we like these niggas and we took it like these dudes really listen to real new york hip-hop because they got a new york type of style with they down south um uh slang you know what i mean we like they, they rap like some new york niggas because if you rapped it dope and like but metaphors and bars and shit everybody say you rap like a new yorker back in the day they never just say nigga you gas and so we like okay they got that new york type of style like the hieroglyphics like us like we all got that style you know what i mean like everybody that that was coming from different areas that had that metaphoric type of style they say oh you sound like a new yorker so when we heard them, we was like, oh, they killing it. They did, like on some tribe shit, you know what I mean? Slash, you know what I mean? Player shit. So we loved it. 
We never had no problem with outcasts. I don't know who talked to you, Sleepy Brown. It definitely wasn't a Looney's member. You know what I mean? It definitely wasn't because I done been to the dungeon uh, with, with Shorty B, Too Short uh, producer that used to play all the guitars on all the uh, Too Short Dangerous music. He was there in the dungeon with Rico Way. So we come out there. Nobody ever said, y'all this and outcast. Y'all had a problem with outcast. And I never told nobody that we had a problem with outcast because we never have. We always admired outcast. We always looked at them leveling up. And we got to step our shit up to be on their level. We never dissed. If, if it was a diss, where's the diss? The people we was beefing with at that time was Master P and Too Short. That's it. You hear, hear us dissing them all through the album. You don't hear one motherfucking outcast diss on Operation Stackola or I Got Five on it. So please, Sleepy Brown, do some research before you say that because it's putting a black eye on us. Like we just dissing niggas or mad at niggas because you said that somebody said they we think they sound like us. Like the fuck? Like nobody owns a style. Hip hop, everybody motivates each other. So we never said that. It's so many niggas that we was bouncing off of like three times crazy. Everybody had their own style. We all bust bouncing off each other, like still sharp and still. We never said, oh, niggas trying to rap or we trying to three times crazy. Everybody start taking their words, start rapping fast like them. Them niggas say, oh, no, niggas trying to rap like three times crazy. It wasn't that. Now, we didn't give a fuck about that. Outcasts didn't rap like us. We never thought they rapped like us. We thought they rapped like New York niggas. You know what I mean? Just like we niggas thought we rapped like New York niggas. It was never they rap like the loonies. Like y'all niggas rap like New York. Period. It was that's it. If you have bars, niggas say you rap like you from New York. Nobody say you rap like outcasts or you rap like the loonies. That that's the last shit niggas thinking about. When niggas is gassing on them on them tracks. So me and them, our motivation was the, the duo groups, the outcasts, the, the mob deep. Um, Dies effects, you know what I mean? The two man duos, the dynamic duos, nigga. We like oh, run DMC. That's our motivation because we're a two man group. So we motivated by Outcast when they came out with the Southern Playlistic. We um, working on our second album, like we got to come hard like these niggas. You know what I mean? So it was always motivation. It was never no hate, my G. Still to this day, I bang Outcast. Ask what niggas, ask niggas. I had the pager. We doing a video shoot. It's me, all the old school. I'm my old school homie J Ro from the uh, from the um, from the Alcoholics Crooked Eye. Ask them niggas what I was playing on my motherfucking pager, my bump box pager, Southern Playlistic. We love that shit, my brother. Never had no problems with Outkast, man. We nothing but the utmost respect and um motivation how they took it to another level man so it'll never be no loonies and outcast beef bro period that never happened never we on the who the fuck got in your ear but they was lying we don't get down like that man but why the fuck you know what i mean we didn't even five on it was made in 93. outcast wasn't out in 93 so how can five on it be a diss song to outcast that it's not possible so but we predicted like we knew that they was gonna drop if we made for nah, man, that's total bullshit. Whoever told you that, man, them niggas must have been smoking that pipe with George Clinton. <laughs> no disrespect to the OG, but you put his business on blast that the nigga was smoking crack, right? So whoever told you that must have been smoking a lot of fucking crack around the studio. Because that never happened, my brother. And I'm going to end it on that 85 South show. I rock with y'all shit, too. I didn't appreciate you saying that that shit didn't age well. Let me tell you something, Carlos Miller. Five on it is still playing on every motherfucking day in rotation. You hear me? We still doing big ass arenas, my nigga. We just did the Motor Center with a motherfucking Portland Trailblazers play and burnt that bitch down, burnt the locker room down, nigga. They really gonna know niggas have five on it when they come play on Sunday, nigga. We still booked, my nigga. We still running it up, period. Y'all know, if y'all really down south, Hip hop historians, you know that one of the loonies got signed to rap a lot and went over there and told shit up and got a platinum plaque over there too. So let's not do this one hit wonder shit and the shit didn't age well. We are one of the only hits that still get played to this day from that era. One of them, one of many, but we are one of them ones, my nigga. Five on it is a fucking classic. You remember Jaru said? Yeah, man. 
but we got classics. And classics hit forever. Five on it is a classic. You did? So that shit always gonna hit Mr. Mr. Uh, Carlos uh, Miller. Talking about it didn't age well. You shitting me. Nigga, my pockets is aging extra well, nigga, with that five on the check and these five on the shows and all the shit that we do, our royalties publishing, nigga, to us. Nigga, you didn't mention what they did with us. It didn't age well, but you said, man, how they did slow the loonies beat down and us is crazy. If they do that with this, you saying what they doing. It didn't age well. Why the fuck would Jordan Peele use it if it didn't age well? I didn't appreciate that. Straight up. Talking about, let's get them half on the sack, nigga. You make one, bro. You sing like a motherfucker, uh, DC Fly. You sing, man. Make your five on it, my nigga. Then holler at me, my nigga. Period. Make a classic. Make a classic, my nigga. Now, Sleepy Brown have made many classics. He could talk his shit. But I don't want to hear two niggas that ain't never made a fucking classic record talk shit about a classic record talking about it in age well. That's some bullshit, nigga. That sound like some lightweight hate because you gave us love at the beginning. Oh, how they did the Looney song and they switched up, slowed it down. That's all love. Then at the end, you want to say because this nigga said we dissed him, that our shit didn't age well? That's not professional, my nigga. And that's not being real with yourself because you gave us love at the beginning. Then the shit on us at the end. Go ahead, man, it's Yeah. You know the lyrics, though, right? Got it. That's my response, man. Shout out to 85 South Show. Y'all keep beating their ass, nigga. Y'all the funniest podcast on YouTube, period. Y'all dudes are hilarious. I tune into y'all show every time y'all drop. Period. This is no diss, no hate. But y'all better stop that slick ass talk about five on it, man. That's a classic, my nigga. Respect the nigga name. Put some speck on my name, nigga. On three of y'all. On me and Numb name, nigga. You see this shit in the background, my nigga. Yada. Sleepy Brown, we love y'all. We never had no hate for Outcast. Get that right. We love y'all. Even you, Sleepy. We love, nigga. Goody Mob, we fuck with Goody Mob, Heavy, the whole dungeon shit, how y'all move, nigga. We nothing but respect, admiration, and we're fans to this day. To this day! To this day! I'm banging that goddamn AT Aliens album. I'm banging fucking Southern Playlistic. I'm banging motherfucking Goody Mob, Soul Food. Banging the whole shit, bro. Still to this day around my niggas. Ask them what I'm playing. Outcast, my nigga, and Goody Mob to this day. Ask my brothers, ask Crooked Eye, all them niggas, what yuck mouth come around this motherfucker playing. Love y'all music, man. Keep up doing, keep doing y'all thing, bro. Keep doing y'all thing. Andre 3000 still beating their ass, whether you want to play a flute and whatever. When he step up to bat, he hit home runs every time, man. Y'all niggas is legendary. Keep doing legendary shit, man. Nothing but love and salute from the loonies, my G. And quit listening to niggas until you hear from the horse's mouth. We love y'all, bro. Period. Salute. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. Y'all out